know if what you're experiencing with past life work or puzzle solving, healing, worldwide stuff, how do you know if that's made up in your head or if it's real? One of the best ways to do this is to return and release soul fragments connected to what you just healed. Soul fragments are absorbed through um, interactions. Every carbon-based item on this planet is made out of moving molecules. So if you just made it up, no movement will happen. But if you really healed something, you will release some soul fragments. Another thing about soul fragments is they're only available to release after they have, you, that you have gained clarity on them. You could release and return all of them today and there'll be more to release tomorrow. Another really neat thing about soul fragments in particular is you can lay down and think of your every interaction you've had with your sister and every fight you've ever had and every happy moment you've ever had and you can release and return soul fragments with those moments and clear them out for you or with your dad or with your mom or an ex or a kid that you had or a kid that you lost um, this sort of thing and it's kind of treat it like a photo album and go through it that is one of the most impactful points of healing that you can start for personal shadow work as well now you're not forcing them to take their soul fragments back. You are simply getting theirs out of you and cleaning it up and sending it back and bringing yours that they have, cleaning it up and bringing it back to you. You're not making them take theirs. It's just out of you now. If there's a situation that makes me feel some type of way or a person that makes me feel some type of way, my go-to thing with them is first, release and return all soul fragments connected between us. If the energy clears up, I'm like, oh, okay, it was from a past life or something. Like, we're, we're good. Or it'll say, well, you need to go a little bit deeper. Or it'll just be soul fragments from that exact moment of triggering. And it might not be deeper. It might be the situation is coming up in your life again from a past life or from inner child that you have to heal. Um, so it goes, it, it varies sometimes. But the soul fragment thing is is super impactful. So if you're looking for a way to start your trauma work and you don't know where to start, try with soul fragments. It does a lot. And if you think that you don't want to forgive somebody, do you really want their soul fragments in you and them to have yours? Entire playlist dedicated to soul fragments. But here's the basic for it, which is you can do it slow or fast. I like to do as much as possible, as fast as possible. So spirit, if it's in my highest good, please release and return all soul fragments connected to me, uh, scattered throughout space and time and the spaces in between, wrap them in divine justice and love, light and forgiveness and return them to their rightful owners at this time. You can edit that. You can do spirit, please release and return soul fragments connected between um, myself and Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> wrap those in divine justice and love while you forget us to turn into the rightful owners at this time or um spirit please release my soul fragments connected to uh the situation that i got aggravated in wrap it in divine justice and love light and forget us and turn it to its rightful owners at this time there's lots of different variations actually i'll tag this to the playlist mark soul fragments for you